two hours to go to the big race and you can see the crowds have already turned out at Shelbourne Park for what is always one of the biggest nights racing of the year. Horse racing trainer Mark Johnston, based here in the Yorkshire Dales, has had a huge amount of success over the years. Welcome to the O2 in Greenwich, where the Elan British Open is back in London. It's the oldest and most prestigious competition in squash. Joined now by Carmelo Anthony, just as they're going off for half time. Carmelo, you guys got off to a great start. What was the key for you in that half? So many tears in the blonde snapper camp. So many tears. Mark, I know you're struggling to talk, but sum that up for us. Yeah. That's it. That's the old man. Do you think this will be you here fishing for England one day? <laughs> for those of you who have never owned a greyhound, have a look at this man's hand. You can't hold it still, that's what it's like. It's petrifying. <laughs> You're playing in New York at the moment for the Red Bulls, but who is your team? What I, got, I have to go with the San Antonio Spurs. I read that you might fancy trying your hands up at a TV presenting one day, so what I want you to do is take the microphone, look straight down the camera, and you can introduce the next race for us. This third race is the Construction Solutions Sprint. <laughs> you yeah. done me up like Gary, a Gary, I think your job's safe. <laughs> It certainly looked like it meant the world to you to win this. Can you tell us how it feels? Yeah. As you would expect for an event like this, people have flown in from all over the world. I'm joined by two Knicks fans here. Where have you come from to see this game? We come from the Netherlands. The man we're all here because of, Adam Drury, very popular amongst his players. Earlier I was lucky enough to have a little chat with him. Liam, this moment's been dreamed of for a long time for you. Are you enjoying every second of this? Absolutely every minute of it. Taylor Sky! Taylor Sky, the track record holder gets trap one. Fantastic. A little bit scary sat in the front row. One of these guys lands on top of you. They're big. Yeah, definitely. Getting it to go in the right <laughs> direction is the first problem. Come on, boy. <laughs> and this is the dog you've chosen to sponsor. Sweet lord. <laughs> Lift. <laughs> what a fantastic atmosphere is here tonight. How are you enjoying the evening and how proud are you of Adam? Oh, I'm massively proud. Now, Lewis, I know you're a little bit nervous. He's got his sister Abby here from Royal Support, but you've been doing a brilliant job of raising money for the retired Greyhound Trust, haven't you? Tell me what you've been doing. Well, do you come Greyhound racing very often? Yeah, and I have my birthday party here. Oh, is it good? Yeah. What's your favourite thing about Greyhound racing? Um, getting interviewed by Sky. In this morning's racing post, the journalist Richard Birch said that at this stage of the derby, it's as much a test of the trainer as it is the Greyhound. Now, that really struck a chord with me. What's it like now watching your team here in London? It's incredible. It's like the best. After my wedding, maybe, this is the most exciting thing. Well, the collections of Oliver's Twist really enjoyed that. You're crying, and I don't think it's because of the money. No, no. Well, I'm joined now by Jahangir Khan, a legend of the sport, certainly a legend of the British Open. What have you made of this event so far here at the O2? I spoke to Rebecca and Joseph Fawcett, who train these pigs, and I asked them, how do they get the pigs to race? Well, that concludes your draw for Fishermania 19. Which of these names is going to be crowned your champion for Fishermania 2012?